Hey guys, it's Brandon with Sonic Electronics, and today we're going to be showing you how to wire these two single 4 ohm subs in parallel to a 2 ohm final impedance. All right, guys, so here we have the JLW3 single 4 ohm subwoofer. Now, one way to determine that it is a single voice coil is by taking a look at the basket. And we'll notice that we only have one set of terminals, a positive and a negative. We look at the other side of the basket, it's not a dual coil, so there's not going to be another set of terminals. So prior to wiring your woofers, you want to double check the impedance just to verify you did get the correct one out of the box. In order to do so, we want to go ahead and set our meter to the ohm setting, take our two test leads and attach it to the terminals of the subwoofer. Now it does not matter if you mix up pause or negative, it's just reading the resistance value of the woofer. So we're going to go ahead and attach our test leads here. Now. Once you're testing the woofer's impedance with a multimeter, you want to make sure that the woofer is facing up towards the sky because if we touch it or even breathe on it, it's going to fluctuate the impedance on the meter and it's going to give you a false reading. So we want to make sure it's on a flat, sur flat surface and we notice here we got 3.7 ohms. Now it may fluctuate above or below the 4 ohm reading. As long as it's right in that area, we're golden. Alright, so in order to wire two single 4 ohm subs in parallel to equal a 2 ohm final load, what we need to do to start off with is basically jumping all positives together and all negatives together in parallel. So I'm going to go ahead and take some of our speaker wire here, and today I'm using blue as positive and gray as negative. So I'm going to go ahead and attach blue to our first positive terminal, gray to our second negative terminal. I'm going to go ahead and bring this around to our secondary woofer and I have another jumper here. Now this wire is going to be going to your box terminal on the inside of the enclosure from the box terminal to the outputs of your monoblock amplifier. So in parallel we're just going to go ahead and join both positives together and both negatives together and attach that to the last set of terminals that we have left over. Alright guys, so once we successfully wired our two single 4 ohm subs in parallel to equal a 2 ohm final impedance, we want to verify that with our digital multimeter. So we're going to go ahead and set that to the ohm setting take our two test leads here with our wire that's going to be going to the box terminal on the inside of your enclosure. We're going to go ahead and measure the impedance. Now it should equal 2 ohms. It may fluctuate above the 2 ohm rating or right below the 2 ohm rating. As long as it stays constant, we know we got a final impedance of 2 ohms. So once again, this is how we wire two single 4 ohm subs in parallel to equal a 2 ohm final load. And once again, this is Brennan with Sonic Electronics, your source for everything car audio.